Hey guys, uh, welcome back. So we're finishing up this decaling on this kit. Uh, this side with a little bit of wash on it kind of made it uh, look a little bit better. This side is acceptable for a worn ass, worn out looking uh, piece. This side came out great. Alright, so it's me. Partially me. I'll take partial credit for this. I didn't clear coat this. I hit it with dull coat like they said they could. I didn't want to keep putting layers and layers and layers and layers on top of this thing. And that's that's what I that's where I messed up. So I'm gonna have to dull coat this when this dries. I did a little uh, little streaking here. I used the uh, boomer method, a wet on wet, and I am quite pleased with the way it came out. The rush streaks look pretty realistic to me. This side's still a little wet, so I'm hoping this dries out. Uh, this side the same thing. I also did a little panel line around the doors again because it kind of disappeared and I'm happy with that. Uh, I came up with a new technique for me. I never did it before. Taking the panel line and, ta and tapping at the top and having it run down where it's heavier at the top and lighter on the bottom. Okay. I flipped it over and I tapped at the bottom and I let it run up. And in reality I think it looks better. It's really, it's it's very, it's very faint to see it because this is a gray panel line. Is this dark gray? Uh, yeah, this one's dark gray. I gotta get the light gray. There's the Tamiya stuff. I really like this stuff. Uh, so basically, I'm just gonna show you what I did. Give it a good shake up. Cause this stuff, if you don't shake this up constantly, it really does settle out. I'm only doing one window so I don't want a lot here. Basically, I just did this. And I started at the bottom and I let it run up. And what that does is you get the little puddle at the bottom where the puddle goes. And I actually kinda I, I like I'm liking the way it's coming out a little bit better. I think it I think it's coming out. It's doing a better job at, at uh, getting the panel lines in there. But yeah it's really it. So this is gonna dry out. Uh, once this is completely dry uh, I'm gonna dull coat this side again. Uh, I'm going to dull coat the whole thing. It's going to get dull coated and um, I may come back in after it's dull coated and just give it a little more touch up with the uh, rush streaks if they if they lighten up too much. These are really light. In person they look pretty good. I don't know. This side's a little heavier so this might show up a little better on camera. Uh, so if these fade out a little bit I'll just give them a little touch and a little wet and wet I'm not going to put any more protection on it because the doorway, this door is already starting to look heavy. It's, it is what it is. But, yep, so that's what I'm hoping to do. Uh, I'm hoping, that's the way I'm hoping it's going to come out. So, we're going to let this dry and I'm going to come back and uh, finish it out. Once I'm done dull coating it and it's dry, we'll come back. I'll put the windows in. I'll show you how I'm putting the windows in. And then we're gonna call it call this done for the build on this. Uh, this will be built just like the uh, tractor supply uh, farming supply buildings built. Then we'll start the brick building for this, and uh, we'll do a whole video on doing all the accessories, adding all the accessories in uh, a little bit later on. We'll call that the detailing the scene video. I don't know. Uh, does it sound fancy? If it sounds fancy, we'll go with it. So, all right. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So, welcome back. Here we go. We're going to... I dull coated this. It came out excellent. It didn't flatten out. It didn't uh, leach out or lighten any of the, uh, the rust stains. So, I'm golden. All right. So, what I'm going to use to put these windows in is evergreen canopy glue. I'm very happy with this. And it's... Uh, it, it works pretty well. So I'm going to use a micro brush and a pair of tweezers. 
A uh, little word of advice. After you get your windows off the sprue and you're going to put them on the model, uh, clean them before you put them down. Because if you put a fingerprint in on the on the inside, on the outside, say glass, you're not getting it off. All right, so here we go. I'm just putting the dot in all four corners. I'm going to recommend that if you're going to do this, do not have a uh, cafe Americano double before you do it. But man, my hands are shaking. Got myself a little caffeine buzz going on. All right. Oh, that's that. We'll get that out of the way. I'm just going to show you. I'm going to show you these four. Excuse me, these three. Just because it's kind of a weird angle. The reason I'm using the canopy glue is because it dries clear. That's basically it. Hoping to get my thumb in the way the whole time. That would have been stupid. But yep. So once again, we'll uh, we'll move on. We'll let these dry, and then I'll flip it over. Just want a little time to set up so they don't fall off. And uh, we'll be back, and I'll uh, off camera. I'll do the other ones because it'd just be easy with the camera not my way. So you see now it's done. Let's move on. All right, guys, welcome back. And uh, here we are. This is the second time this happened to me. I shot this. This was uh, glued down with the uh, Mod Podge and then hit with the uh, matte medium that I used. I did a little some rusting on it. I think that came out pretty good. A little powder. And then I uh, sealed everything in with the uh, matte medium. I let it dry. It was way too glossy. So um, I tried giving it a little dusting with the uh, powder and it seemed to have flattened it out a little bit, but it was still too glossy. So I hit this with uh, the Tamiya Dull Coat and it's got a good finish to it, except I got these white, this white that's showing through. I don't know why. I don't know if I should let this dry for a few more days, but it is what it is. We'll figure that out later. Uh, right now, we're going to put in this pin connector uh, because I, uh, I feel like it. All right, so what we're doing here is I'm going to take uh, these 2 millimeter pins that you see me use for decoder installs and I'm going to solder them in here so I can wire this through this uh, tube and be done. And then uh, I, can, uh, I can finish getting this thing ready to go. All right. So I'm going to need about that, say that much. It should be enough. If it's not, I got no other choice, but it is. All right, so this is going to get pushed in. And I'm doing something I really don't like to do, and that's work on a finished model. I don't like working on, uh, you know, soldering your plastic. Bad things have been known to happen. I still weep to this day. You should be able to hear me a little bit better. Now one day I'll figure this out. Until then, you're just going to have to deal with it. Alright. So what I need to do is I need to cut me two pins. I'm actually going to order, the next time I put an order in for these, I'm actually going to order uh, two, three, and four pin setups and, a, and maybe another one of these because you wind up wasting 
you wind up wasting one pin. Turn the 21 pin connector into a two pin connector. There we go. All right, so one side's going to go in, inside, one side's going to go outside. Get my helping hand over here. There we go. That's the tweezers I've been looking for. What the hell was I doing with that? All right. So, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get this top done. Probably should take this. I don't, want, I don't want to pull the LED out again because I took it out once already, so the adhesive is not that good anymore. Kind of wearing out, but probably would have been the, probably be the smart thing to do. Hey, hey, you're on jack on tracks. You don't do the smart things. Smart things would have been to take up golf. I just got a shipment of the shrink tube in, so should be good for a little while. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, so here we're gonna do shrink wrap. Done, done, done. This side is finished. This side, I'm very happy with because I got plenty of slack. I gotta find my little brush. I have a little brush around here. I don't know where it went. Probably over that disaster over in that corner over there. We're not gonna look at that right now. I know. Even though I know you wanna see it, I'm not gonna show it. I can't show it to you. It's embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Oh, that's what we gotta do. Let's get ahead of ourselves. Oh, yeah. You're gonna work on it? Yeah. Plug it in. Well, plug it in correctly. And then we're gonna take it off. Boop, boop, boop. Put it on the layout. Pull it down. All right, so that's that. Let me get you. Let me get you a money shot. At the end with the uh, the lights on. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Jack on tracks. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification button. And uh, you know, stay tuned. We got more to come. We got the other building. I'm gonna start building that uh, in the next video. And uh, we are going to do some detailing using the boxes and. Some of these other things. But uh, yeah, this actually came out pretty good. Just got to figure out what's going on with this roof. On the other thing, if I remember correctly, after time, this kind of dried out. I think it's just because there's moisture in there and it's coming through. But if not, we'll figure it out. Give it another wash, dirty it up. But uh, it, came out, it came out looking pretty good, I think. The rust stains came out looking good. I don't think they're too heavy. The weathering's pretty good. Decals, 
don't pay attention to that that decal came out like garbage this side not so much kind of save those those look a little bit better now this side came out great i know what i did wrong and i'm not going to make that mistake a second time so we'll move on from there and uh as always thanks for watching and catch you later